Ark of Wish bestellt. Ja, nee, eben nicht. Wir gucken uns mal kurz in die Ob gucken uns in Options rein. Vielleicht können wir noch Fullscreen ist an. Text Speed ist relativ langsam. Auto Forward Time ist so mittel. Aber das Einzige, was wir eben nicht umstellen können, ist die Sprache. Das heißt, wir müssen jetzt mit dem Englischen klarkommen. So, dann wollen wir doch mal gucken. It's been a while since our last appointment, hasn't it, Doc? Well, I'm not gonna lie. A lot's changed. I know, it's kind of a cliche, but... My life didn't really start until last year. It didn't start until me and my dad moved to Laddle. Laddle? This magical small town in the middle of nowhere, Ontario. I dreamed of moving here for so long. Ever since I was a kid, I'd come to visit Grandma and go to the local camp. It was like a fantastical adventure every summer. Going back home to the lousy city felt like someone shaking me away from an amazing dream. But this time was different. This time, Lel was going to be my home. I just wish... I wish the reason we moved here wasn't... wasn't because Grandma had passed on. We used to be so close. But then, right before high school, me and Dad stopped coming to Laddle because... Oh. Dad and Grandpa had a bad fight. Uh, we moved too far away. Uh, choices! Ich bin das nicht mehr gewohnt! Verdammt! We moved too far away. We moved so far away that coming to Laddle would have been a two-day trip. And with that working all the time, we just never made it up here. We still talked to Grandma on the phone every once in a while, but it wasn't the same. I think Dad felt really bad about not seeing her again. It took a while for it to sink in for me. In movies, when people die, it's always so dramatic and meaningful. But other than the funeral and sadness, a lot of what you have to deal with really is a lot of paperwork. We came up here because despite all that happened, Grandpa left dead everything. That included her house. So we moved in. I know, talk about bittersweet, right? Back then, when we first moved in, I didn't know how to feel. Dad told me that Grandma would have wanted me to enjoy my senior year and so that's what I set out to do. I had a lot going for me. Dad let me have Grandma's old truck. I was going to a new school where I could make a good first impression and I was in level. Now, I know that I haven't been great at meeting new people. I usually like to keep to myself. It was like totally by choice though. Come on, dog. Don't look at me like that. Ja, als ob sie einfach einen Teddybär als Psychiater hat und alles klar. Ah, fine. It wasn't by choice. I was a dweeb. A big fat dweebus with an L practically tattooed on my forehead. Is that what you wanna hear? You're right. That wasn't fair. It's just... I'm still a bit sore about it. I guess I just had trouble making friends because... 
Uh, nein, wir haben garantiert nicht zu oft Schools gemoved. Um, I was teased a lot. I was just teased a lot. It's hard to have the confidence to make new friends when you know other people think you're super uncool. Not to mention it was like other kids were afraid they'd catch the loser disease from me or something. So yeah, Doc, I hadn't really had the best luck before, but on that day, September the 15th, 1997, the planets must have aligned in some way that changed everything. Let me tell you about my first day at Little High. Schön, wie das Game jetzt schon gefällt. Aber es hat noch nicht viel passiert. Bis auf die Tatsache, dass sie in das Haus gezogen sind von ihrer Großmutter. Und dass sie ein Dweeb ist und mit ihrem Plüschtier redet, der ihr Psychiater ist. Okay, das ist seltsam. I was on the way to Lel High. Trying desperately not to freak out about the horrifying prospect of starting a new high school during senior year. It's going to be fine. That's different from most places. What's the worst that can happen? I get shamed, kicked out of school and regret my actions for the rest of my life. My comfortable words weren't enough to calm me down, weirdly. I need a game plan. And a goal. Yes, that's it. I knew I was already under a lot of pressure. So I made a goal that felt very reasonable. I'm gonna be the coolest girl in school. Das ist ein bisschen hochgegriffen. On the first day. Ist das nicht ein bisschen hochgegriffen? Everyone will be like, you, Stella Starosta, are the coolest girl in L. High. It seemed pretty doable. Ja, genau. Game plan time. All I have to do is... I only just gotta... Here's how I gonna do it. I'll make myself into... A sex symbol, the class clown, a rock star. Choices. Ich. Ah. Es ist nur die Demo. Was kann was kann passieren? Aber sie sieht aus wie. Ach, ich weiß auch nicht. Ah, komm, Klassenclown. I'll make myself into the class clown. The best idea ever. Ja, ich wollte auch ein Sex symbol nehmen, aber es ist zu zu offensichtlich. I'll be the funniest person in school. Das ist witzig. Zumindest ein bisschen. Everyone will laugh at my classic bits and come up to me like, How did you get so funny? Ja, genau. And I tell them, it's all about honing your craft. I'll make tropical jokes and do great impressions and keep it light and fun. They all vote me most likely to be famous And that will probably come true. With a solid plan in place, I started getting closer to school. Then it hit me. What if I run into Taylor? I didn't know how to feel about that. Taylor was my camp friend. I hadn't seen him since I was 13. We used to write to each other in between summers. I remember being so excited every time I got one of his letters. It was like I was just a little bit closer to being a ladder. Then, the year I stopped going to camp, I also stopped writing. I don't know why. Maybe it was because... Tja, wir wissen nicht, ob er sich geändert hat. Vielleicht ist es auch der Grund gewesen, dass wir nicht mehr ins Camp... Also, no, ich schreibe ihm nicht mehr, weil ich nicht mehr ins Camp gehe. Ich bin mir... Also, das Spiel geht auf jeden Fall in diese Richtung. Definitiv. Die Frage ist, sollten wir das auch tun? Das wäre so ziemlich das Offensichtlichste, was passieren könnte. 
Das wäre, glaube ich, auch so ziemlich die normalste Story, die man nehmen kann. Tatsächlich zwei. Na gut, selbst schuld. Maybe it was because I had feelings for him, but didn't know how to deal with them. Surprise. Like, I don't know. I was 13. I was a naive kid with a crush and I guess I was scared that if I kept writing I'd tell him. And that he'd be like freaked out or something. I knew I had to focus though. Whether I ran into Taylor or not, first things first. I needed to become a class clown. <laughs> was anderes nehmen sollen. Das ist ja total bescheuert. Episode 1 Welcome to Lerdl. After going to the office to get registered, I went to go to find my locker. I was supposed to meet a class representative who was going to show me around Lerdl High. They said they would me they would meet me by my locker. I guess this is it. I had something leaking out of it. Yep, that's the locker I would get. Well, might as well put my stuff in there. Oh god. This locker smells like death. The smell was so potent that I made my eyes water. Ugh, I can feel it. It's so dense, like a stench blanket. I had to find the source before I fainted. Hmm, that gym sock. It seems to be the center of the stink zone. Ew, so gross. The smell of the gross gym sock was creeping into the hallway. People were starting to notice. I'm like, gonna throw up. Where is that coming from? This is so embarrassing. I don't want to be known as the smelly girl at school. I had to do something. This was my chance to become the class clown. Na los, jetzt mal so einen richtig geilen Gag raushauen. Ew, stings, am I right? Aren't smells the worst? The bad ones, I mean, there are like perfumes, but bad. What's the deal with that? Topical humor, uh, am I right? I was losing them. Watch out! Offensichtlich der coolste Guy an der Laddle High. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was a Velociraptor on a skateboard? <laughs> wow! That dinosaur boy looked so cool. The way his feather crest flowed as he cut through the air. His powerful dinosaur legs and sharp claws. Such balance and grace. But what did he want with me? All right, everyone, this has all been a prank. A prank? Exactly. Another elaborate prank from me, the Prankter. And I'd like to thank um, the new girl here for playing along and drawing attention to the stink. You're welcome? That's right. She wasn't on it from the beginning. The crowd slowly moved on and then it was just me standing face to face with the raptor. Okay, I think we pulled that off. You skateboard good? You're a dinosaur. Please don't disembowel me. <laughs> so so the classic dummer Satz einfach. Du bist ein Dinosaurier. Ach was.
Das ist genauso wie, you skateboard good. Ach, was. Das ist schon lustig. Na kommt immer eins. Ja, please don't tear out my intestines and eat me alive. What? I'm so small. Barely worth the effort. Please find a bigger student to have for lunch, Mr. Dinosaur. I, um... Your claws will probably get stuck on my fanny pack and I, I probably taste like sock... Hey, whoa, settle down. The only thing I'm gonna to be ripping around here is some sick stunts. Ja, schade, die Hartverzögerung. Aber es war, hat ja gepasst, ist ja trotzdem okay. I don't understand. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. Yes, I'm a skateboarding velociraptor. No, I'm not here to eat you. I'm actually pretty partial to pizza, spaghetti and small amphibians. Not some pretty new girl at school. Oh, <laughs> nice cover back there. So, what is that smell anyway? Yeah, some jerk left a sock in my locker. Some total jerk left their grody sock in my locker. Total jerk? I don't know if it was someone's idea of a joke or if they were just really gross. Maybe, like, theoretically, The joke is actually pretty funny if you think about it for a little while. What? Okay, look. Put the stinky sock in your locker. I did it as a prank. I thought it would break the ice, make you feel at home here. I worked super hard on it. Uh, Nein, dafür entschuldigen wir uns nicht. Wir, wir, wir play along. We play along. Aber eine stinkige Socke als super Prank zu verkaufen, ist, äh, geht gar nicht. Das ist ja, das, vor allem, er, er hat hart dran gearbeitet. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it now. A stinky sock in my locker and I didn't know it was there. You don't have to do this. I know the prank sucked. No, no, it was good. Uh, I, appreci I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. This is a pretty bad way to start your first day here at Ladl, huh? Yeah, it's not really going how I planned it. You deserve a better prank than this. Anyways, my name's Robert Raptorson. Who are you? I thought this should be easy. Just tell him your name. <laughs> oh, yeah, the soccer is icebreaker. Beste. Wir können jetzt alles versauen. So richtig. Warum auch nicht? Be funny. It's New Girl, or at least that's my stage name. That was a joke because you called me New Girl before when. Uh, oh, never mind. It's this. I'm Strella. Uh, yep. I mean. It was my first real conversation with a cute boy, and I was already messing it up. Hopeless. Strella? Cool. No, sorry, it's uh, uh never mind. Hmm? I was um I'm supposed to meet the class representative to show me around the school. I guess I forgot. Nope, that's me. Class representative. Really? Sure. Who better to show you around than me? I'm very representative of what the school has to offer. Right. And my family has lived in Ladl for generations. 
Ja, einmal vor den Menschen und einmal jetzt. Das sind auch viele Generationen. Haben wir verstanden. You might have heard of us. The Raptorsons. Ja, natürlich. Wer kennt die Familie nicht? I actually vaguely remembered hearing about the Raptorsons when I came to battle. I recognize that name. I just didn't think we were actually raptors. Yeah, I get it. Even with all the bizarre shit in Laddle, we tend to stand out. Mm. Um, gibt's hier noch andere Dinos? Is this, yeah, is this, oh, nimmt das auch gut. Does it bother you that you stand out? Not at all. Everybody knows me and I handle that pressure really, 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 really well. Huh? Anyways, I'm supposed to show you the gym, the library and the soccer field. But the gym has a black mole problem. The library is... the library. And the soccer field is just a muddy hole since our groundskeeper disappeared. D disappeared? Some people believe he was a victim of the Ladder Ripper. Who? Oh, just a serial murderer that lives in the woods and butchers people with snakes. Most people think he is just a legend made up by the superstitious town folk. But I think he is real. Let's let that simmer on the back burner for now. Let me show you the true pride and joy of Little High. I was ready for a big tour of the school, but Robert just took me down to the hall. So, what do you think? It's a nice display case. No, not the display case. What's inside it? These are the greatest achievements of Laddle High. Notice anything about them? Ja. Was, einer davon ist ein Schlüssel? Ein Schlüssel-Item? Ja, eins davon ist eine Socke. Eine Socke. One of them is an important item that I need to collect and combine with something else to solve a puzzle? Wow! Das ist ja eine geile Antwort! Das ist ja richtig gut! What? No! This isn't about finding some hidden clue. It's about admiring my achievements. Check out all those snowboarding championships. Notice anything about them? Da ist immer noch die Socke. That's right, I won them all. Er hat sogar die Socke gewonnen, geil. You skateboard and snowboard? I'm a bit of a board servant. Well, I don't really compete anymore. How about you? You ever win any trophies or medals? Nah, I never really com competed to begin with. The only thing I was ever any good at was history class. And they don't really hand out trophies for... Uh, knowing a lot about the inventor of toilets. <laughs> Correcting people about Viking helmets, auch geil. Being a fangirl for the Middle Ages is langweilig. Uh, knowing a lot about the inventor of toilets is cool. For knowing a lot about the inventor of modern toilets. That sucks. Yeah, it's a bummer. Get it? Never mind. <laughs> hey, what are you doing after school? Uh, to really complete your tour, I have to show you the lake. The lake? Yeah, you gotta see the lake if you want to know the real level. Okay. I'm actually... Well, the thing is... I'm not actually new to Laddle. Don't accept my invitation so lightly. 
The lake is a challenge, a test of what? Nothing, just your worthiness. Um, okay, you look worried. It's actually gonna be pretty chill. Oh, okay. But also, be prepared and stuff. Oh, okay. And if you run into anybody cool, bring them along. I'm trying to get as many people to come as I can. T -t totally. Anyways, here's my number. I hope to see you there because I want to know if you are worthy. Uh, Stell you later, Smeller. Oh God. Oh <laughs> God. Oh God. I mean, uh, sorry, it's Strella, right? Actually, it's Stella. Oh right. Okay, cool. That was how I met Robert. I was still thrown off by him giving me his number. That never happened before. Then he asked me to hang out after school. I didn't know if it was a date, another prank or just a friendly invitation. I didn't even know where the lake was. There were lakes all over Laddle. Which lake was the lake? I thought that after that, the rest of the school day would be pretty uneventful. But the weirdness was not even over yet. Wie viel Pech kann man denn bitte haben? After a bit of botched improv during a reading of Hamlet in English class, I headed back to my locker. I think I've pretty much contained the stink. I will just have to keep this locker closed, pretty much for a time. Where were you this morning? Well, I was a little late. And what about last night? I I was unpacking. I mean, come on! Okay, that's the truth. I said I would unpack, but I ended up walking around behind my grandma's house. We were supposed to hang out. What? This is how it always is, isn't it? You come and go whenever you want. Um, if you want something from me, then you are around. But if you want something with I would, but if I want something from you, you just vanish, like you always do. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Sometimes you are right there, being all nice, and it's like you and I. We are a real thing, and other times it's like, you don't even exist. Yep, she's gone again. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, um, sorry, I, I, I didn't see you there. Whoa. Boom, Zeitlupe und so. this girl she was so cool and absolutely gorgeous wow were those wings ist ja nicht so dass ein raptor schon schlimm genug wäre ein käfer and antennae was she some sort of Magic fairy? Are you okay? What? Huh? You said excuse me and then wow. Then you just stood there staring at me for like at least two minutes? Oh, I was just wondering if you were talking to me. Oh shit. You heard that? Yeah. I was... Sorry, I was fighting with Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid invisible. This Ingrid, is she like real? What? Wait, it's okay. I'm not like judging you or anything. 
I had a pretend girlfriend once, but like, not for anything weird, just to practice kissing. Uh, wait, you must be the new girl. Yeah, kinda. Wow, that make a great first impression then. Like, hey, how about I yell in the halls at an invisible person for a while? Hmm. My name is Dave. I guess you probably noticed by now that I'm a... Well, I'm a... Wow, guys, the fallen game are beautiful. A fae? A fairy? Um, fairy. A fairy? Yeah, pretty much. Some of us prefer fae. But I don't really care. This must be a lot for you to take in. It's been a kind of... Uh, an intense day. You're actually one of the few people who's like, stop to talk to me. Damn, I never had to change schools before and I'm still a loser. Oh, I uh, didn't mean that you're a loser, I just... Wait, you can't be a loser, you're cool. You're the only one who seems to think so. I guess... That's what happens when you spend all your time studying instead of, I don't know, talking to people. And it probably didn't help that my mom was a teacher at my elementary school. Or that I wore a superhero cape until I was eight. Nun, I mean... <laughs> Oh nein! Was, was kann man denn da jetzt sagen, um das noch vernünftig abzuschließen? Ich dachte, dass ich wirklich zwei linke Füße hatte, auf jeden Fall. I used to think I literally had two left feet. So I would only wear shoes for the left foot. Turns out that's just the same. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't catch your name. Oh, it's Stella. I nailed it that time. I couldn't believe it either, cause at the time I was so distracted by her wings. Okay, Stella, I um, I noticed you're a bit distracted by my wings. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I. It's okay. Look, if it helps you. Can if it helps you can ask me some questions. Really? Yeah, for sure. Mm, can you fly? Do you have magic powers? Why aren't you tiny? Mm. Es sind so dumme Auswahlmöglichkeiten. Hast du magische Kräfte? Kannst du fliegen? Can you fly? Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say something? No, no. It's just sorta. I guess sorta is the answer. Oh, how do you sorta fly? I can't get very high or go very far unless... That's what? I have to like believe in myself or something. Or someone has to believe in me. Or both at the same time. It's like super dorky. Sorry, all the scripted stuff is just kinda normal to me. I've lived here all my life. I uh, used to go to camp here, but living here is like... different. Yeah, you'll probably see some more locals, if you know what I mean. Like me and Ingrid. Oh, right. Yeah, I've already met a skateboarding dinosaur. Ah, Robert. Yeah, he actually... I remembered Robert telling me to bring any cool people I run into and... Well, I thought they was cool. So that was good enough for me. Hast du zufällig geschaut, wie viele Stunden man das Spiel noch steckt? Nee, noch gar nicht. Das ist aber auch erst die Demo. 
He asked me to come to the lake. He did? Y yeah, and he said to bring along anyone cool that I run into, so... So? Do you wanna come with me? Me? Go to the lake? You don't have if you don't. No, no, it's just... Did he say anything about it? He just said something about... Wor something about worthiness or something. That sounds like a lot of pressure. I know, right? I don't know. I've never gone there before. I mean, I've gone there, but I've never hung out there. It's a school night and I've never gone there and... Is it gonna be like... A party? I don't know, it could be like five people or it could be a total rager. Five people is still a party, right? No, that's more like a get together or chill sesh. Chill sesh? We shouldn't go, maybe... No, actually, we should go. It'll be good for us, because you're the new girl, and I'm a total brain. Ah, come, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, maybe... maybe not, though. What? No, 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 you're right. Let's go. Okay. We just gotta get hyped. Let's do this thing. We are going to the lake. Yeah, we are. The thing is though, I don't know where it is really. Oh, right. Could you um, tell me or like draw a map? Hey, why don't I show you? You have a car? Yes. Wait, no. So which is it? It's more like a truck. Great! So you can give me a ride. Totally! Awesome! Okay, here's my number. If you're nervous about the lake, give me a call. Or, you know, if you just want to talk about anything or whatever. So you just legitimately want to talk to me? Uh, yeah? This was the second person to just give me their number like it was no big deal or something. Pick me up around 7? Okay. Awesome. One sec though. Hey, guess what? Me and... What's your name again? Stella. Me and Stella are going to the lake together. Did you hear that? I know you are still around here somewhere. I guess she's gone. What's for weirdos? I'd never been invited into anything before in my life. Not only had a hot dinosaur invited me to the lake, but I was giving the hot fairy a ride there too. I was standing there by my locker, looking at the two scraps of phone numbers in disbelief. I didn't know whether to be excited or terrified. Then someone came along to clear it up for me. Wer kommt denn jetzt? Wow. Why are you just standing around with that ridiculous grin on your face? Huh? You're a ghost. That's friggin' right, I'm a ghost. Does that scare you? <laughs> I think I have a good one uh, about a ghost and a dog. If you know what's best for you, you better not crack a single ghost joke around me. Okay. I understand if you can't handle it. It's pretty friggin' intense. Trapped between this world and the next. 
doomed to wander in everlasting torment and stuff. I'm like a tragic spirit and sometimes a vengeful one. It's like way more than some people can handle, okay? I like don't even know how I died. Were you murdered by the Ladder Ripper? Yeah, I mean, maybe. However I died, it was like probably really violent and tragic. Really freaking tragic, okay? Okay. And like, Day is the only one smart enough to figure it out because it's such a friggin' like mystery. I'm not like mad that she's going to the lake with you. Because like, when you're a spectral entity trapped in between death and the mortal coil, then like, jealousy and stuff is kinda beneath you. I'm just telling you to watch out, okay? Sure, just be careful. Cause like, as a ghost, I can do all sorts of stuff. Like, walk through walls and be invisible, but that's not even the half of it. Sometimes I get all poltergeist on stuff like throwing friggin' furniture and smashing mirrors and like knives. And I'll even set your clocks five minutes late or early. <clears throat> and don't even blame me if that happens because like I can't even control it. And that's not like a threat or anything. It's just like, if you're gonna be around day, then I might be, then I might be around. And I just want you to know that you're getting into... So like, yeah, maybe I see you at the lake. It'll be fun. Yeah, fun. I was on my way home, still very confused about everything that just happened. I can't believe how wild that first day was. I mean, people talked to me, wicked cool people, and then the plan. God, this morning when I made that plan I had no idea that I would work so flawlessly. Okay, so maybe not totally flawlessly in execution, but I've got time to really perfect my strategy. By the time I get to the lake, I have it mastered. That's when it all hit me. Was denn noch? Hat sie Jobs? Macht sie Werbung? Keine Ahnung. Gar keine Ahnung. I'm going to some kind of party with people that I just met. I might have fooled them into thinking that I'm cool for like five minutes, but now who knows how long we'll be at the lake. But I have to go, they're expecting me. I was so afraid of the idea that I'd get there and blank or embarrass myself somehow. I started having a mini panic attack on the car ride home. <sighs> okay Stella, gotta think of something else. Gotta calm down. Look in the rear view mirror, that always works. They say you should be checking your rear view mirror every like 30 seconds or something, but for like quick bursts. I'm more into checking every 3 minutes or so, but I give it a good stare. It helps me to calm down. Sometimes I get lost in it. I like seeing the road being put behind me. It's oddly therapeutic. Goodbye old road. Sorry for driving on you. Maybe this time. I looked for a bit too long. Well, holy! Yes, yeah, Jen. Yeah, sieht halt aus wie ein Werwolf. Taylor? Stella? 
Ja, genau. Direkt in zwei Leute verschossen. Ist klar. Jesus lebt. Naja, fast. I couldn't believe it. I had hit him. I had hit my old camp friend Taylor Tolto. Er ist einfach ein Bigfoot. I was in shock. I mean, I knew it probably see him around at some point, but not like that. There were a million things I probably should have been thinking about, like how to explain why I stopped writing to him. What was he doing out here? Why wasn't he at school? But all I could think about was how much he had changed. Hey. He was always tall, but now he has grown. Like, a lot. He wasn't the skinny boy I remembered. He was something else now. I found myself looking deep into his piercing blue eyes. I could feel a mysterious sadness in them. Stella? Uh, sorry? Are you sure you don't need to go to the hospital or something? Yeah, no, I'm good. Just a bruised shoulder. I just need to chill for a second. Taylor, I I'm sorry for hitting you with my truck. I had a lot on my mind. I wasn't watching the road. I feel awful about this. Forget it. Let's not make it a big deal. Look, if it makes you feel any better, I get hit by trucks all the time. Wie ist er denn drauf, Alter? How is that supposed to make me feel better? Sorry, I just kind of comes with the territory of being a Bigfoot and everything. Also doch. We are too stealthy for our own good. Genau, Bigfoots sind immer sehr stealthy. Man kennt sie. Bigfoots, die Assassinen des Waldes. Taylor always had a pretty good sense of humor when it came to being a Bigfoot. When I first met him and his family at their camp, I was like five years old. I was just so excited that magical creatures like him existed. I'd go home and tell everyone about how my best friend at summer camp was a Bigfoot boy my age. Maybe that was the start of people thinking I was bizarre. Okay, you can stop lying now. No, really. I even developed a pretty effective technique. The trick is to hop up at the last second and really put your shoulder into it. It helps to be tall though, that way you have a high center of gravity can make it over the front grill. Uh huh. Are you being serious? If anything, you were actually in more danger than I was. The last couple of times someone hit me with a truck, I ended up going right through the glass. What? I've made it through like three fatal accidents. I turned the driver's bodies into mulch, <laughs> hides the evidence and it's good for the local ferns. Genau. Taylor, you did not. True story. Uh huh. So I'm standing next to someone who's hidden several bodies? So yeah, you're totally making this up to make me feel better. Maybe I am. Is it working? Well, when I was hoping I'd run into a friend from my friend from camp, I didn't mean literally, you know, like with my truck. Well, at least I know we are still friends. Taylor, you kind of moved away to the city and I stopped hearing from you and, well, I kind of thought, Taylor, I'm sorry, it's just I... No! Ah! 
Taylor, I, um, it's just that the words just weren't coming. Stella, it's okay. It's just, well, it's just good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you again, too. So, well, I gotta go. What? So soon? Hey, now that you're back in town, we will probably see each other around. If not, maybe you'll run into me in another four years. Wait, Taylor! I couldn't let him leave so soon. Not like that. W will you come to the lake with me? Uh, Stella, I'm... Wait, did you say the lake? Yeah. Are you sure you meant the lake and not like a lake? The lake, I think. A raptor named Robert asked me if I wanted to go. Robert Raptorson? Yeah. Weird. And I'm supposed to pick up a fey girl named Day on the way there. Huh. What? Stella, what do you think happens at the lake? I don't know. Can I be totally honest with you? Please. I have no idea. I have never been invited into anything and I have so many questions. Do I need to RSVP? Should I dress casual, semi-formal or formal? Should I bring a present, maybe some kind of cheese? Is there a secret handshake? Help me, Taylor, I don't know anything. Look, the lake is just a place where burnouts and losers hang out, drink and smoke weed. Like a wild 24-7 party? No, more like five or six people sitting around talking about bullshit. Oh, yeah, it's not really Robert or Day's scene. It's kind of throwing me off. What do you mean? Well, Robert usually hangs out with his jock friends in the parking lot of the Laughland Frog Steiner. And Day's just, well, she doesn't really hang out. I always figured she was too busy studying and doing shit for extra credit. That's if Ingrid isn't hovering around her. Oh, and speaking of people whose scene is most def who seen this is most definitely not. Are you sure you're ready for this, Stella? Hmm. What? Me? Very? The thought of being in the same place with a bunch of drunk strangers doesn't scare me in the least. I'm just going to go down there and, you know, chill out. Uh-huh. Taylor, it's not like I never had a drink before, okay? I've had a sip or two for my dad's beer before. And at my aunt's wedding, I had a whole lemon cooler. You are practically like a party animal. I might even do some weed. Wow, I didn't know you were willing to just throw away your future like that. Yep, definitely. That's me. Not scared at all. Stella, relax. I've been to these things before. You will be fine. You've been to the lake before? Yes. Hmm. What? Nothing. Oh no. Taylor? Yes. Taylor, old buddy? Yes. Taylor, dearest friend? Can I ask you, like, a little favor? Like, just a teensy weensy baby favor? Do you have a microscope? Cause you're gonna need it to see this tiny little speck of a favor. What is if I don't already know is this nanomolecular favor you speak of? Taylor. Yes. Will you please, please come to the lake with me? The thing is, right, 
I don't really want to. Please. Oof. Pretty please. Nope. Pretty please with a sherry on top? Absolutely not. Pretty pretty please with a banana sundae and a cherry on top? This is the worst. Pretty 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 please with... Fine, I'll go. Just please stop that now. Thanks, Tyler. I promise we won't stay too long. It really means a lot having you there. Will you need a ride? No, it's okay. I know where it is. Here, you can reach me here. If you need to. That was three numbers at that point. I remember thinking, does everyone in Laddle just hand their numbers out like this? Oh, thanks. After school, I was, I was finally over, I was sitting watching TV. But really, out of the corner of my eye, I was watching the flashing light of the answering machine. I was nervous to find out if there were any messages from me on there. Und ob wir da etwas bekommen oder nicht, das werden wir oder auch nicht herausfinden. Wir sind über der Streamzeit hinaus. Wir können speichern tatsächlich, wenn ihr das erwartet. Ich bedanke mich an dieser Stelle ganz, ganz herzlich fürs Zusehen und hoffe, dass es euch Spaß gemacht hat. Wenn dem so war, würde es mich freuen, wenn wir uns in einem meiner nächsten Streams wiedersehen werden würden. Wahrscheinlich wird es morgen Stream geben. Ich weiß nicht genau, was ich streame. Ich bin mir nicht so ganz sicher. Wenn ihr in absehbarer Zeit eventuell Raptor Boyfriend weitersehen wollt, dann lasst es mich bitte wissen. Via Twitter, via Insta, via diversen Social Media Kanälen. Lasst es mich irgendwie wissen. Denn das hier ist, wie gesagt, nur die Demo. Dann müsst ihr die Vollversion besorgen. Und ja, in diesem Sinne wünsche ich noch einen wunderschönen Restabend, eine wunderschöne Nacht. Bleibt gesund. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen, vielen Dank fürs Lurken, vielen Dank an alle, die im Chat aktiv gewesen sind. Und dann wird mir noch zu sagen, ich bin der Chris, das war Raptor Fudo Boyfriendo, Holiday Star und Raptor Boyfriend, die Demo. Ich verabschiede mich und sage bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.